If you're wondering how to tell if your child is a better fit for a Waldorf or Montessori school, then this is gonna be the video for you. I'm gonna break everything down into an overly simplified example and explanation. So we will be talking in generalizations. The first part of this video is gonna be a little bit of disclaimers to kind of address the nuance of it all. And then I'll get into some of the specific things to look out for. If you wanna jump ahead to anything, there are chapters in the description box below. And if you guys are new here, my name's Rachel from The Confused Mom. Welcome to my channel. I share baby and toddler product reviews, activities, as well as Montessori at home tips. And this video is part of my larger Montessori verse Waldorf series. So definitely be sure to go back and check those videos out. And let me first say there is no one size fits all answer. I am 100% going to miss stuff in this video. It's largely based off of my own personal experience with both types of schools, my kids experience, and watching other kids over the last decade. And then the last little disclaimer I want to say is that every single school is going to be different and within that school every single teacher experience is going to be different. So even if a school calls itself Montessori or Waldorf that can be a drastically different experience from school to school as well as classroom to classroom and I find that sentiment holds particularly true in Montessori settings because the name is not trademarked. So again just keep in mind I will be speaking in generalizations and there's a lot of nuance always involved. Ultimately you know your family best, you know your child best, you know the school and the teacher best. So you need to make decisions accordingly. The first thing going to be to listen and observe your child. When they tour the school, do they feel comfortable and lit up or do they seem a little bit more repressed? Do they want to go back afterwards? How does your nervous system feel in each setting and how does theirs seem? So for example, we toured one Montessori school when my daughter was two and a half years old and when we got to the three to six year old classroom, the headmistress was, I think that's what she was called, would not let my daughter touch anything. And my daughter is a very docile respectful child. She's not somebody that's going to run into a room and just like start tearing things off the shelf. She will get up to something. She will look at it. She will observe it gently. And the teacher started to scold her. Did not say, oh, does that look interesting? We have to leave that for the other kids. She just started being like, you can't touch that. Don't let her touch anything. And for me, that was a huge red flag. And one of the things I noticed too while touring, all of the parents coming to pick up their children seemed extremely anxious or rushed or just not very present in the experience. This was really shocking and disappointing for me because it was considered the best Montessori school in our area and my daughter left feeling really confused and disheartened and when I asked her if she wanted to go back she was adamantly against it. Then shortly after that we toured a Waldorf school and while my daughter definitely stuck very close to me after the previous experience the huge difference I saw in her was the amount of questions she asked afterwards. You could see that she had a connection to the environment and was definitely intrigued and I noticed her nervous system as well as mine felt much much more at peace there. The next thing to look at is your child's interests, especially as it relates to academics. Do they actually want to do letter work? Are they actually interested in math? Or are they more focused on practical life skills, pretend play, emotional intelligence, and stories? While Montessori does cover the latter grouping of things I talked about, the reality is in most modern day American Montessori preschools, the strongest focus is on academics. For some reason, Montessori has become associated with being able to read and write by the time you get to elementary school. And parents, I think, expect certain benchmarks and achievements as it relates to core academics from a Montessori school that has led to a skewing and manipulation of what Dr. Maria Montessori originally intended. I'm saying that's true again for all Montessori schools. Whereas a model of academics are not touched until they get to elementary school age. Preschool is solely focused on nature, art, practical life skills, emotions, and all of that type of stuff. Next, and this one is definitely very broad and abstract. And I'm sure I'm going to upset some people with these generalizations, but they or just that, generalizations. And that is going to be to look at how your child learns and engages. If I could boil it down into an overly simplified stereotype, I would say if your child is more interested in STEM, then they will probably enjoy a Montessori environment more. And if your child is more artsy, they will probably enjoy a Waldorf school more. So here we'll get into a little bit more of the nuance of that in terms of the engagement aspect and how your child engages with the world around them. My son is extremely vocal. He asks a million questions and he's not even two years old yet. He's extremely self-motivated to figure out how things work using his hands. He really jumps in head first, so to speak. He's incredibly organized. While my daughter, on the other hand, is an observer. She watches groups and how things are done from a distance for long periods of time to determine how they work, how they operate,
separate what's expected before she's willing to take a step in and try herself. She tends to be more dreamy and whimsical and lost in her own little world. And she could play by herself and pretend play for hours every day creating stories. She really doesn't enjoy jumping into something until she feels confident that she can master it or is extremely close to mastering it. And while she's organized, it's definitely in her own way. It's more of organized chaos. I would say her process is much more of a private and intimate one, whereas my son's process is much more external and collaborative. Now, that's not to say my daughter doesn't love collaborating with other kids, of course, but that is how she truly integrates information when she's learning. It's from this outsider looking in perspective. And of course, my son, just for the sake of new house, loves pretend play. He loves stories. He loves all that stuff too. So based off of that, we think my son would thrive in a Montessori environment. Mixed age group, I think, is a perfect match for him. He loves collaboration. He can easily speak up and ask for what he needs. And he doesn't mind making mistakes in front of others. I think the rigidity of the way Montessori tasks are presented would work really well for him. It makes a lot of sense for him. He likes that step-by-step -step process. Whereas my daughter, because she's more of an observer, she's a little bit more quiet in a group setting, she can easily get overlooked. She doesn't really ask for help too often. And she generally gives off this air of she's okay, she's confident, she's competent. And and I think that can kind of fly under the radar and has hurt her in a Montessori setting. Also has her own unique way of doing things. Find that this isn't really something that aligns with Montessori's rigidity of certain exercises. I would say at my son's core, when no one is looking, he is always doing. And at my daughter's core, when no one is looking, she's always creating. I'd love to hear if you've experienced a positive or negative match with your child in a Montessori or Waldorf setting. Drop a comment below to help other parents out. Be sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss future videos in this series, like the ways that my daughter was deteriorating when a school was not a good match for her, as well as how we're handling reading, writing, and math now that we're no longer at a Montessori school. In the meantime, be sure to go back and check out those past Montessori versus Waldorf reviews. And as always, my name's Rachel. Have a good one.